So on the Facebook page, uh, not long ago, I think it was like four days ago, they announced that there's this new event coming called Return to Giant Tower. And I have accounts on a few different servers. This is my Asia server account that I was playing way before the game even released, before I could spend any money or anything. I haven't been in this account in a long time, since definitely since the game launched. But I thought I would hop over to see if the event was live here so we could kind of get a sneak peek and maybe prepare for it. And it is live over here. So the way that it works is you summon limited, you summon your limited summons. And in addition to the exchange ticket that you usually get, you now also get these access chips. And then the access chips are the currency for the tower. So I wanted to come in and see kind of what we were looking at based as far as rewards go. And the way that it works is you have to spend 80 chips to unlock the second floor. And then at the second floor, you have to spend uh, uh, 120, I guess, to unlock the, the second floor. I, now I was able to scrounge up exactly 80 limited cards. I had 53 on hand and I jumped around and did the elite chapter and bought all the ones I could buy from there. And then I did uh, Rise of Heroes and got the last three I needed from there. So we managed to get at least 80. So I thought we would pop the cards here see what if it like first of all see if it's a one-to-one -one, see how many access chips we're getting when we summon and then we'll jump over and see at least what the cost is going to be for rewards in the second floor because i should be able to unlock at least that assuming it's a one-to-one -one ratio and just just to kind of get a heads up on, on what's to come i can't get to floor three but floor two will give us a little bit of information so i don't know when it's going live on other servers i don't know what the timeline is for it so maybe it's already live for you if you're if you're ahead of me if you're on the same server I'm at, look at us get a look at us get a Leo on the way to uh, to pity. That's aggravate. I, I got a Leo here before I did on any of my other accounts. I still don't have Leo on my main or my <laughs> main free to play account. So it looks like we're getting two Leos here. How lucky is that? Oh, we did we didn't get. I'm wondering if they changed the way pity works. It didn't used to reset if you pulled the champ. See, there's another one. Maybe that was the one. I don't know. Mathematically, should have happened in the last one. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if they changed the way pity works. All right, so yeah, it seems to be a one-to-one. -one. So let's jump over. And I'll just... In the 80 so we can unlock it. just to see what the prices are going to be on the next floor so, the, so it looks like it's going to be 120 for each luke and then you can get 50 of these at four piece if you wanted to and then again I'm, I'm guessing 120 again for luke i don't know if the prices get better in the third row the price of luke didn't change so i guess there's going to be three copies of luke but you're going to have to have a lot of limited cards to really get the full effect of this event uh, so it's not, I don't guess it's a crazy event, unless there's another way. Recruiting limited heroes, including chosen recruitment. I guess that's another summoning thing that's coming up. You can obtain, after a certain number of access chips are redeemed for rewards in the specified floor, the next floor of rewards can be unlocked. After the event, the remaining unused access chips will be automatically converted into diamonds at the rate of 50 diamonds per chip. So if you've been saving a ton, and there's another good summoning event going on, then this could be a nice bonus. I don't I don't know that I think this would be worth blowing what you've been saving though. You know what I mean? Like I'm 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 creeping up on the 700 total that I need to get Bailey from the recruitment event next time it rolls around. And this does this does not compel me to like slow that progress down at all. Having access to the red runes is nice. It's not like the there's not quality in these. But I don't think it's worth blowing what you've been saving. I think getting Bailey is going to be better than getting Luke. And again, I just think there's generally better ways to use. So so if you're already going to summon, I think this is a nice addition to summoning. I don't think it's a reason to summon, though. You know what I mean? If they do a double chip event and the recruitment event rolls back around and you're going to summon anyway, sure. Uh, but I don't know, maybe you feel differently about it. And maybe there's going to be more to it on, on other servers. I don't I don't know. I don't know why there would be. But like right now, there's only the Leo limited banner on this server, which I find interesting. But anyway, that's just a quick look at the event. I just kind of wanted to be nosy and take a look at it and thought I'd, I'd show you guys 
what I found. So that's that. If you're on a server that's already got the event and you know what the stuff on the third floor is gonna cost us uh, and you wanna drop it in the comments, that would be dope. But uh, that's it, I'll just probably take a look at this. I'm getting out of here, later.